What's up, what's up everyone? This is Lee, the Video Game Truck Guy. And in this video, I would like to share with you something that I've tried out and I wanna compare some you know, apples to oranges here. So some of you who are thinking about the video game business might not necessarily be thinking about a video game truck business. Some of you might be looking at uh, like an old school, maybe cyber cafe. There are a couple of different types of ideas. Now I won't mention the name. I just don't want to point fingers, but there's one that opened up really close to me here. And basically it is a copy and paste model of a regular 1.0 video game truck, except it's in the building, right? It's not on wheels. Let me tell you why I do not like that model. Okay, so first of all, the amount of gaming and equipment that was inside the building, uh, maybe four, five, six times more than what you actually have to uh, work with in the virtual reality game truck or regular video game truck. So you have a lot of high cost equipment. So that's the first thing. Second thing, I have ran and operated a brick and mortar business before. So the amount of work that would actually take to invest to make sure that you're up to code, to make sure that you have enough bathrooms, facilities, and you have to go through the fire inspection, all of this is just a big headache and it's not cheap. Okay, so on top of that, if for whatever reason your uh, lease goes or let's say, uh, let's say your rent starts to fluctuate, right? You have all of these variables that you have no control over. Now, I'm not saying you are completely in control when you're running a video game truck business, but it is, I mean, the regulations for it aren't there. Uh, you don't have to pay rent if you park it right on the side of your house, or if you do pay rent, it's pretty much always consistent and it's cheap because you store it at a yard. Also, your mobile, you go to wherever it is that you need to go, and your income in comparison is a lot better, especially if you're starting off in the beginning as a contractor, a one-man or one-woman operation, whereas in a brick-and-mortar building, like first of all, you're tied down to it all the time, right? So if you're starting to run it by yourself, now let's say, what if you hire somebody? Well, guess what? You're constantly having somebody on the clock in the brick and mortar operation. So um, it's, it's definitely a neat concept to have a brick and mortar game truck like environment where people could go and, and you know, do fun stuff. But then again, just the amount to get it rolling is just not something that I would suggest you do. Now, I know that there are also some locations popping up around here as well in Los Angeles and Orange County where you go in to do just like a virtual reality experience. And that's pretty cool too. But thus far from what I've seen, because people have to go out there, because uh, it's not what you call a very comforting service, meaning that you have to go there and it doesn't come to you, they didn't look as busy. So um, again, it's a neat concept, but when we're comparing the video game truck, especially the virtual reality game truck to a brick and mortar uh, gaming location, that is something that I personally will not be doing. And if you do it, uh, please do your research and find out what the actual cost is going to be. We haven't even talked about marketing or anything else. So um, to me, the video game truck business is way above a brick and mortar business within the same sphere. Uh, but again, maybe I'm wrong. If you have your opinion on it, please feel free to share uh, in, you know, down below in the comments what you think about it. But again, just I've... I've done the business before where I had a brick and mortar and the headache was just too much to do a brick and mortar. So that's why if you are thinking about a video game business, a mobile video game truck, mobile virtual reality game truck, I think is the way to go. If you have any questions, let me know and please subscribe. There's like a subscribe button here somewhere so that I know that you're watching and uh, you could also message me through YouTube, by the way. I don't know if you knew that, but there is an option where you can message someone through YouTube and say what's up. So, all right, guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Have an awesome day.